Hey, what's going on? This is Jordan Wagner from MirrorGuitar.com here with Mike Dirks of the band Guar. He plays the role of Ballsack, the Jaws of Death, and they're out on tour right now for their new album, Lust in Space. How you doing, Mike? Great. For your time. You want to run us through the live rig that you're using for this tour? Sure. Um, I guess we'll just start with the follow the signal path. Of course, it all begins with the guitar. This is my custom ESP, the Ballsack vinyl. It's an EX. Uh, ESP's version of the Explorer. Been playing EXs since I've been with um, ESP. They fit really well with the costume. It's just really a comfortable style for such the big costume. You know, it doesn't have that much in the way up here. But this is got the war on the pick card, custom graphic. Um, let's see what else? It's just got the single EMG in it, one volume control. 85 is <laughs> normally the neck. Yeah. This is the 81. Yeah. Um, see the back. It's actually got glow in the dark uh, fret markers in the back of the neck, which is really helpful when you're playing on stage. Because like when they kill the lights and you have to start the song, you know, it's like I, with this costume, I really haven't been able to see the guitar that well. So if I can just get glance down through a crack and see the glow in the dark and know where I am on that fingerboard, it helps a lot. Uh, it's through the body. Just, this is a monster guitar. I, I love this. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. EV wireless. It's the programmable two channel. You just scan it for the clearest channel. It's the REV. It's their latest. And having two channels allows me to run both channels at the same um, frequency. So I can run one channel to my backup rig and one channel to my main rig. So if anything goes down, I just swap out, um, swap out the speaker. The it's already hooked, set up. Um, from the wireless, i um, been running a Tri-Axis Mesa Boogie preamp. It's the one I've had for probably about 10 years, <laughs> maybe more. Actually, I got it right when it came out, so that's probably closer to 15 years old. And it's a MIDI programmable all tube preamp, which is awesome. And for effects, I'm using the Lexicon G2 which it's the MBX G2, which is pretty much the only one I've been able to find that's actually set up to be used with a separate preamp. This is runs actually in front of the preamp and also at the same time it's in the effects loop. So you can run your wah effects and stuff like that before the preamp and still keep delay in the effects loop, which is a really brilliant way to set up an effects processor. It doesn't have any built-in distortion like most like multi-effects units do now. They try to be everything. Instead of like, but you're not going to come up with a distortion unit in a multi effects processor. It sounds better than the tri axis, so it's kind of pointless and like wasted. Also, got the DBE, or the BBE, which is a sound enhancer, tonic maximizer, they call it, which is basically like a, another tone control at the end of it. Just adds like it's got a low contour and then a kind of a presence on it, so it's just like an extra shaping at the very end of the thing, which just adds kind of, it's set up to the low end on it, it's kind of the metal, modern metal right. low end that we're looking for. And we've started using the Palmer um, speaker simulators, we're, we're not even, we don't even like our cabinet slab anymore, both me and Flatus go direct, and the Palmer's just sound amazing. This piece of gear has been on every Gore tour since uh, 89, I think, it's been all over the world, it's like 20 years old. <laughs> just, every Gore album, that, that, that piece of gear has been on it. Every time you've ever seen Gore live, that, that's been Ballsack's power. That, that's the heart of my rig right there. It's just, it's like, a, it's like a 60s muscle car, you know, it's huge. So even if there's enough room that anybody can go in there and like change tubes and change transformers, and it's just like every, today everything's packed so tightly that if you open it up, you're going to destroy something. These are custom Vader cabinets. We just uh, hooked up with Vader this year, and these are absolutely amazing. They built these especially for us. Um, you see, have war emblazoned on the sides of them. They're custom painted. Um, it's 412. It's at eight ohms. It's rated 480 watts, which is just insane. Just doesn't break up at all. Carries bottom end. One of our artists in the band, Bob Gorman, actually welded these. And so depending on the, side the size of the stage, we can 
lock in, like just add cabinets to it and go wider and wider. It's got the grating on the top, so we have stairs so we can go up on top of them or have our lighting just roll in and out. It's got Velcro on the front so we can put our scrims in the front and cover the, everything and rip them off and change sets just by pulling the Velcro off. All right, Mike, thanks for your time. All right, thank you. All right. This is Jordan Wagner, and you're watching PremierGuitar.com.